What's up, guys? Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of The Shippers, aka the lowest rated Evo RTG. With EA tightening up on the Evo's progression, the glitches, the chains, and such, it is going to be time for us to cash in on a whole bunch of the stored Evos that we had available to improve this team. But with post Team of the Year teams now being unbelievable, can the Shitters? still compete can we still qualify let's find out but before we get into the champs qualifying guys let's clear off the transfer list we are up to three hundred and fifty thousand coins couple of those in form sold there's still a few bits and bobs on the transfer list but not a lot worth all that much i believe we've also got some squad battles some rivals some rivals rewards which is uh division seven delightful jumbo premium gold 26 pack and uh, we'll rip those open now. There's a few other packs there as well, but a lot of them largely irrelevant. Like untradeable packs, we'll probably just start saving up again now um, because there's just no real reason to open untradeables. We just need the tradables. And then we need to look at the... Ooh, Shadow, nice. Um, the Evos. And, you know, EA have kind of like done their best to stop the Evo chains and all of the circumventing options. They've kind of done their best to work around as well, which, of course, is absolutely fine. Like, you know, with the the shitters, one of the best things about this was that we were just doing it legit. Do you know what I mean? We weren't abusing the system or anything. We were just taking really low rate cards and trying our best to upgrade them. So I've got a list next to me. So if you see me keep looking to the side, it's because I've got a lot of information to get through uh, with regards to what we're doing, what we've got. The upgrades that are there. We've got some expiring Evos coming up as well. One of the things that has been uh, very frustrating over the last few weeks with Evolutions is what EA are giving us is card type specific, and it really just stunts the progress of this series. Team of the Legendary comeback, pointless for us. Superpowers, pointless for us. And now FS Academy, pointless for us again. We don't have any cards that can fit in here. Uh, the Road to the Knockout, Mystery of the Goo, also pointless for us. So yes, we've got right side star available. Yes, we've got team of the year prospect, uh, centre back prospect available. And yes, we've got double plus pursuit wing wizard and team of the year visionary available, which expires soon. And we're going to deal with that now. But it's just a bit frustrating um, that we can't really boost our squad up along with some of the other things that have been around. And with the fact that even though EA put it in the patch notes, it has been fixed. The Patrick who glitch has not been fixed. Which means Team of the Year Visionary, guys, is going to be <clears throat> Wu Yu Hang. That's who it's going to be. So we're going to go and get ourselves Mr. Wu Yu Hang right here. He's going to go into Team of the Year Visionary right here. And once he is fully uh, upgraded, he's going to get the uh, Crash Panda Plus. But of course, we've already got him in another Evo. So he'll get, I think we've got two upgrades on him. But Wu Yu Hang is going in and he will become our starting defensive midfielder once he's fully evoed up as well. But what we are going to do is claim Liu Ji Kang in keep up. This is the first of one of his evos. It does give him a playstyle plus. It gives him a really tasty boost, but it keeps him under the rating threshold for uh, some of the bigger evos, which hopefully now we'll be able to start putting one playstyle plus players into, which is quite nice. And so that is Liu Ji Kang <clears throat> given that 73 rated card and boost on top of that we've got juan juan who has got a lot of uh, upgrades available as well now we could get this next liu ji kang upgrade but we're not going to yet we're not going to get that double playstyle plus just yet just in case he's eligible to fit for a future one because uh, he's now not an in progress card uh, and then we've got sing there as well now one of the problems we've got with horam even though we can't see him here is because of his pace he's just not eligible to fit for many evos at all so wing wizard sorry for right side star uh, not Wing Wizard, Zhang Yu can go in it. And I think it's the point where as fast as Horam is and as good as he's been, Zhang Yu becomes better out the back end of Wing Wizard. I'm not going to commit to him just yet because we've got a lot of other stuff there. But yeah, Zhang Yu, if slash when we put him in here, 54 rated, but overall he gets up to three star, three star, He's going to eventually be able to have a better card than uh, Horam because Horam's just completely battered constantly by the um, pace that he's got on the card. But we are also going to claim uh, Shan Huan Huan 
uh, this one right here. This gives him uh, Tiki Taka Plus, which is quite a nice one. And, uh, you know, he, get, he gets like good passing and good dribbling off the back of this, res respectively, of course, <laughs> not actually. But we're going to claim those partial rewards of Shan Huan Huan. We do have him available in another Playstyle Plus as well, but because we used him to claim him in uh, something else to show you guys what was going on, it really didn't uh, help too much. And then we've got Zhang Yu as well that does get Travella. So yeah, he's going to end up being better than Horam. We've still got Das waiting there. We've got Wu Yu Hang waiting there. And Chen Guliang, who's uh, waiting to be claimed as well. But I need to go out of... I need to go into the, basically onto the web app um, to get the next guy that we need to upgrade an Evo. Uh, he's going to go in there. And uh, yeah, we're going to set him up as the Evo and get into some games. All right, guys, with EA doing their very best, rightfully so, to cull the uh, Evo glitches, we have got a lot of players we can now claim, uh, including um, Das, Horam, and Sing. Look, pixelated. That's pretty mad, isn't it? So Das is going to now be claimed. He goes up to a 72. He looks half decent, to be fair. Incisive pass plus now as well, which is quite nice. Uh, we've got Horam can now be claimed. He goes up to a 61 with Travella plus. Lots of pace on Horam, but not a lot else. We'll take a little look at the team in a bit more detail afterwards. We can also now claim... Uh, sorry, I just got to make sure I get this one right. Uh, das, Horam, and Sing. Where's Sing? Let's uh, sort these guys. So I can't actually see Sing to claim. Um, and then... Chen and Wu are on their final levels. I can make the decision whether to claim their old Evos. So I think Wu Yu Hang does get a full Evo. Chen, so Chen doesn't get um interesting. Chen doesn't get a Playstar Plus. So we're gonna claim him as well. He goes from a 49 up to a 74 and a very reasonable card now, too. We've got Chen Guliong just needs to play two rivals or champs games to get to the next section so we're going to activate him and he's going to be that guy and then we just need to play two for Wu Yu Hang as well so I'll actually leave Wu Yu Hang in right now we can claim one more as well but I'm not going to be able to do it until it shows it like who's there for me but looking at the team now first and foremost what's really good to look at is we have got lots of playstyle pluses uh including Li Junju as well I don't think he gets onto the team same as Liao Li same as uh, Shan Huan Huan but we've also got some like dare I say, reasonable options on the bench. So in terms of the players, Joshi now, two-star, three-star, low, medium, five for eight. Awful card. Uh, Chen Guliong is not bad now. He has got jockey, sly tackle, and bruiser, which is great. He's six foot one with two-star, four-star, which is great. With the shadow, he's now got 80 pace, very good agility, balance, and reactions, good defensive stats, and good physical stats. He's actually a top, top card for us. We've got Liu Ji Kang, very similar as well. He's got Jockey Plus, 6-1, obviously. He's also got passing play styles out, the Yin Yang, and some other good play styles as well. And then with the Shadow, he's got really good pace, good defending, good physicals, and really tidy dribbling, which is nice. And then Sawney at left back, terrible card, but he has got Sly Tackle Plus, and we pass, so that's cool. Wu Yu Hang has no play styles and no stats, but he's the one we're evoing right now. Sing now has got lots of good play styles. He still has Trickster. He's got the Trash Panda. He's got three passing play styles that we're going to try and use and abuse. He's actually got really good agility, balance, and composure, good stamina, and not awful passing with good passing play styles. So Singh's actually going to be a bit useful in the midfield for us now, I do believe. Wang Tender, of course, one of the best players in the club still. Nothing's changed for him. Oram now, great pace, great agility and balance. Travella plus, relentless whip pass and power shot. Still not a great card, but he's all right. And then, of course, Lengzic one, still exactly the same. Nothing's changed on him. And last but not least, we've got Das. Now, I, I actually think Das is becoming an incredible card, mostly because of these play styles. Finesse shot, Travella, rapid, quick step, press proven, whip pass, tiki tacker, and incisive pass plus with great pace, very good agility and balance. Actually decent physicals now with good stamina and strength. He's also got good short pass and long pass, respectively, with good passing play styles. And other than finishing reasonable shooting stats. So he is at a point now where because of his play styles, he's going to be like real decent. He's also got the five-star weak foot, which is really nice. We've got to qualify for champs, so let's go. All right, now then, guys, it has actually been a couple of weeks since I played on this account. 
since I got that champs run and got those nine wins. Uh, I haven't been on here and we've missed an entire weekend of champs as well with there. Um, what's interesting is even though this team has progressed nicely during that time, everybody else's team has progressed significantly. And a lot of it is due to the, uh, well, the SBCs, more rewards, things like that. But also it's fair to say that those new Evos that this guy's got one of by way of Millard, those new Evos are just really, really nice. And it is, you know, one of those sad parts, I suppose, with what we've got going on here. Because, there you go, he's through. He's through, Wang Tender, let's go, baby. One of those sad parts with what we've got going on here, because wouldn't it be nice for us to have had an Evo like that? You know, like where, where it just can put a player up to like a 90 rated with a couple of playstyle pluses and just in general be like really, really useful. Do you know what's crazy, guys? This formation. We don't have any anything on it, right? Oh, dear me. We don't have anything on it. What a shot. It just plays so well. And when I built this formation on the Arsenal Evo RTG, in spite of the fact that this has been so successful, I was still like, no, no, no. He's going to score there, isn't he? No, good save success. I was still like, no, no, no. Got to put... Stay back on defense for the fullbacks. Got to do this. Got to do that. And guess what? It wasn't nearly as successful. Now, okay, we haven't won this game yet. We haven't qualified for champs yet or anything. But just the way the team plays, the, the way where people are, I just really like it. Like, I really like it. And I don't know why I don't use this formation more. Oh, go on then. Power shot plus, baby. Bang. Oh, it's not power shot plus, but it is a power shot. That's what's up. Um... I don't know why I don't use this formation for my regular team. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, anyway, this, this, this little connection here is dumb good. Just, it's actually clean. Uh, this guy's gone. This guy's gone. Dog Blue is out of here. And we get our first win in qualifiers. It's not going to be easy qualifiers, that's for sure. But my good lord, that was easy. Let's get into game number two. All right, here is game number two. And we're up against Team of the Year, Allison. Okay, that's a good team. Not a great team, but it's a good team. Got that, is he? I was a bit lucky. Never mind. Go on in. Go on in. 1-1. One, one. Come on. Back in it. Love that. Love that. War a save. Casillas. Holy moly. Oh, what a save. Casillas. Holy. Wow, man. Casillas has made a few very good saves. How is it that that absolute weak piss poor shot is the one that goes in? I tried to use the double RB one there, guys. Oh, he's celebrating. <laughs> Imagine. I tried to use the double RB there to, to cover the cutbacks, as I keep getting told that I never use it. And you see the defenders actually ran away from the players that were in the positions of being able to be, like, getting the ball or whatever. So a bit of a, bit of a weird one, but that be it. Come on, boys. Andy Wang's here. Come on, let's get, let's get the goal, baby. Let's get the goal. Come on, 3-2. We can all gritty, pal. We can all gritty. Now the pressure's on him again now. He's, he's, he's sweating now, and he? He's sweating again now. When he got to 3-1, he thought he was in control. He was like, oh, nice. 3-1 up against the bronzies. 3-1 up against the shitters. Now he might go 4-2 up. If he does, we are getting, like, full-blown gritty on, aren't we? The blocks, boys. The blocks. That's so frustrating. Oh, I knew he was going to fall gritty after that. I knew he'd do the fall gritty. GG's, guys. Right. Good news is we're back down to zero form. So hopefully the next game will be a bit easier. The other good news is, is we now do have another upgrade on our midfielder. 
which should be uh, straight away applicable because it's not a full Evo here. So let's have a look. What do we got? Yeah, so Wu Yu Hang gets another little upgrade to a 57. Gains along with that two pace, two dribbling, one star weak foot, eight interceptions, and five defensive awareness. Much needed. He needs to play three and get two clean sheets to get him fully up. Excuse me, fully upgraded to 61. Oh, Singh's there now. Brilliant. We can actually claim Singh now. Um, so Singh's going to be uh, going to be taken from a 56 up to a 67, and is going like we was already looking at him like okay, he's he's all right, right? Um, but yeah, Wu Yu Hang. He's going to be ready for two claims once we've got these next games done. Um, but yeah, what I'm really happy with now, if we have a look at the team again, is that Singh up to a 67 was a much needed boost. Five star weak foot on him now with, uh, yeah, really, really decent, like not decent, but good passing, good dribbling, good shooting from range, good play styles and uh, another play style plus on the team. Let's get into the next game. Alrighty, the next game is up on us. And we are up against Yashin, Komen, Carlos, Old Salah, Henri, Kaka. I mean, it's, a, it's a weird team. The sort of team that I look at and think this guy's not like an insane player. You know, informed Trippier at right back instead of like Afu. Um, gold Mohamed Salah that was good for the first like, oh, great touch, Joshi, a few months of the game. We have a red Neymar though. It might have might have had a red red in form. That's always a bit of a worry, isn't it? Because that just means that they are champs players. There you go, he's through. Bosh, love that. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Go on. Lengzik Juan, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's lovely. Let's go. 2 0. Come on. Or am. Oh, it should be three. Bit lucky to get the rebound goal there, but we'll take it. I had two men over there. Take any of them. Doesn't matter, though, because that was good play. That's 4-0. Sing with another one, though. Move the keeper. Move the keeper. Come on, EA. Got another one back here. 4 2. All right, let me stop playing around now. Let me just start like rolling this game again. Oh, Leng. Bangs it. Let's go, baby. 5 5 2. Let's go. Come on. And that will be full time. We get ourselves another win on the board, guys. Let's get into game number four. All right, game four. A win here would be delightful because obviously getting to three wins off the first four games would be nice. But it does seem like we are very comfortable um, with this team to be getting the four wins regardless. We're up against Team of the Year Earps. Okay, a full, a full female team. Team of the Year Kerr as well. Uh, some nice players in there, that new Millard Evo too. But let's, uh, let's go again and we'll see what we can do this time around. Got that Survivor as well, which is quite nice. This is exactly why I think this game mode should be repeatable. Look at the teams we've been coming up against. They've had some good players, as they should, because, you know, you've been playing this game for a while. Like, you end up getting some, some nice players. That's, uh, that's absolutely fine, right? But this is a full women's team with Evos in and Team of the Year's in. It's actually a fun team to come up against. Look at my team. People must look at my team and be like, oh, what a fun team to come up against. Then you've got, like, like you know, rivals. And it's like, what are you doing in rivals? Oh, what are you doing in Rivals ever? Like, you're never going to use a team like this because you're just going to get absolutely smashed unless you're, like, sandbagging down the divisions. And so it's like, if this game mode was just repeatable, I think people would genuinely use fun teams because you only need four wins to qualify for champs, but it's not even about qualifying or not qualifying for champs. The fact that even, like, the four-win rewards, the six-win rewards, they're decent. Give them tradable the first time around, then the second time around, make them untradable. And, and have, them as, have the tradable version of the rewards set to a weekly timer. And for everything else, you just, just enjoy, you know? 
See, I didn't press pass there. Do you know that? I don't know what... It, I, I wonder if I've got... Either... Lovely goal. Either stick drift... Or button drift. I, like, it can't even be button drift. I'm player locking. And very regularly, it is auto-passing. Sometimes it's even like an auto-chip ball and things like that. I'm not doing that. I wonder if that's like... I don't even know. I, I wonder if that's a setting. Is there a setting for auto like passes if you're player locked? There shouldn't be. Oh, Leng. Oh, I mean, that is delightful, isn't it? That's, oh, love that. Love that. Move to keep it too far. I don't know what it is about this formation. I just really like the way the players are. I just really like the way the players are. That's a lovely goal as well. I like the way they move. I like where they are on the field. Like, I, I'm going to have to try this formation again, like, in my proper team. But there is a nice 5-0 win. That gives us the clean sheet, which is really good for whoever it is we're trying to Evo right now. That puts us at 3-1 and one and really takes the pressure off now with getting this, uh, this last, uh, last win to guarantee the qualification. Yeah, Wu Yu Hang. We now need to play one more and achieve one more clean sheet. Uh, clean sheet might have to be squad battles. We'll see on the next game. And so with that, guys, into some of the gameplay we go. Um, of course, one thing that's always going to be difficult with this team and the way Evos are working is the fact that everybody else's team is just going to improve significantly. And in general, people just get better at the game. You actually see me there do a little player lock into Wang Tender to get the finish. It's really funny, like how much influence other people have on my play style. I'm not going to say maybe the same is for you, maybe the same is for you. But every time I see somebody do something that works, I'm like, yeah, let me just do that. Let me just do that. And sometimes I do it and it sticks. You know, like as soon as we got Gio Kiroz on the Arsenal Evo RTG with Travella Plus, I just banged Travella goals for days. Banged goals. Yet prior to having a Travella Plus, I didn't even really attempt Travellas. Uh, which was quite funny. So, on this account, obviously, these players just aren't really good enough to do Travellas. Like, maybe we need to try a little bit with Das, but in the heat of the moment, it's like if I get a, to an area like this with Das and I've got the opportunity to hit a Traveller, I don't know how good he is or not. So, unless I'm in like a comfortable position, I don't really want to try it. But with Wang Tender, where we actually scored the um, the finesse shot. Even though he doesn't have finesse shot plus, I just know how good he is with finesses from there because of how good his stats are. But with the player locking, and and P in, indeed anyway, just people in general becoming better at this game, getting better at this game, and then getting better teams as we come up against a worldie of a team. Um, by watching people do things like player locks, or that what I just did there as well with Leng Jinx one, that kind of RBLB switch. I don't even know what it's called, to be fair. Um, but it was it was just such a nice goal. And it was it's using the skills to do it. But what I tend to do is either take something that works well and then never do it again um, past that first game. And I, I, you know, I struggle to actually make it my um, like make it into my like regular routine and just make it part of the skill set that I have. Um, or I tend to just do it constantly and continuously and forget to do lots of other things. And I think even though we took the 4-1 loss to that guy there, I think one of the things that I really like about this this account, this team, as we get a oh, lovely, lovely free win, um, as, you know, one of the things I really like about this account and one of the things I wish I could take into my all of my FIFA play, whether that's Draft, whether that's Champs, whether that's the Arsenal Evo RTG, the thing that I like the most about playing with this team is I just play better because of... Like, I don't try to force anything because I can't force anything. Because there's no, you know, I don't have blistering pace, five-star skill moves, five-star weak foots. I don't have play-style pluses, double play-style pluses, things like that. I just have the bare bones of what's available. And so every pass is important. Every goal is important. Every shot is important. You know, I find myself quite a lot with the Arsenal Evo RTG. Not even quite a lot, but all, like a significant portion of the time. It's more than quite a lot. I find myself doing things 
because I feel like I can, not because I feel like I need to. So, for example, there's quite a few times where I get through on goal with the Arsenal, you know, with a player with the Arsenal account, and then I'll just try and ball roll and Trevella it from like 35 yards instead of just running it in on goal, waiting for them to do something and then making the change. Yeah, with this account, because I know that these players are so bad, I would never ball roll Travella from 35, 40 yards because I would never trust in the fact that they're going to score. So from like here, the, now I actually got lucky to get the goal here. Very lucky to get the goal there. But that's the sort of goal where I would have just tried to finesse shot that with any other player, like on a, on a big account. So ultimately, I love playing with this account because it just makes me play much better. Much better. All right, the last one. No luck, United. I'm joined by Sue Smith in the Genuinely familiar name. And we've arrived at the final day of the Champions playoffs. Yes. What are we going to get? Oh, good ball in behind. Oh, why to him? Why to him? Lengzik's one's right there, EA. Nice, let's go. Come on. Nicely sets it up. Oh, Ram, Bosch, let's go, baby. Come on. Just needs the composure now. Oh, there's another. Oh, yeah, baby. Leng Zhigzhuan. Man, that driven pass. Do you know what? Like, this is something I just did that I never do, right? But I don't do this year, and I don't know why I don't do it until I just did it now. I could not believe that that guy knew where he was passing the ball against me in the last game with those ping passes, but they were efficient and effective for him. So do you know what I've done this game? I'm just RB spam passing and then doing like a little extra quick pass here and a little extra quick pass there. And that pass that Wang Tender put through was insane for Leng Zhik's one, even though like that there. I would never do that pass normally. I would never do that. What's up, Julie? Even though it wasn't a pass that I saw, it just connected. How mad is that? Davis. What's that there? And they've scored. Not a foul. Well, oh, it's got goal written all over it as well, isn't it? And it's in. Just those but free kicks from there are just so easy. And now all of a sudden we have gone from being 3 0 up at half time and cruising. Being at three two and under under pressure again now. Oh, that's, that's amazing, isn't it? That's amazing, isn't it? Absolute scenes, absolute scenes, and we've managed to close out our sixth win, and that is a step up in the series. That is. The first time getting the six win reward rank in qualifiers with the shitters. You'd love to see it. Our first rank four playoffs. Obviously, nothing out of these packs really helps us. Um, but the team is certainly like getting much better. Uh, we now have Wu Yu Hang ready to go up to a 61, although we're not claiming him now, I don't think. We've also got the other boost on Wu Yu Hang. We've got Zhang Ji is ready to go up to the 52. Yu Ji Kang ready to go up to the 78. I think it was Yu Ji Kang that I didn't want to claim, wasn't it? That I claimed by accident, never mind. Um, we're up to 283,000 coins anyway. So with these tradable packs on top, should hopefully uh, increase that coin value. Cheeky little win form or a future stars wouldn't go amiss. Premium gold players pack. Nothing of value in there. Unless that's Lewandowski or Pajor or something. Oh, never mind. Oh, we've got the rare gold pack. Nothing of value in here. Uruguay could be an 86, I suppose. Not, oh, never mind. And then a mega pack. No special card. Won't be a walkout. James 84 is alright. And another mega pack. Nothing in this one either. Belgian De Bruyne. Well, oh, it might actually be, to be fair. I think we've got a KDB in here. Oh, Shadow, though. That's alright. Hope it's not. And that, guys, is going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hopefully next time you see this team, we have hit 11 wins for champ.